And for curling fans who could not make it to Vancouver, action was just a stone's throw away in northwest Washington, and that is a curling play on words. The Hilton Garden Inn converted to a ballroom, converted a ballroom to a curling arena. The sport seems to be rarely thought of outside the Olympics, but it has been growing in popularity. The curling event continues today from noon until 6. Your weekend weather forecast. Now for curling fans who could not make it up to Vancouver, action was just a stone's throw away in northwest Washington, and that's a curling play on words. The Hilton Garden Inn converted a ballroom into a curling arena yesterday. You may not know a lot about curling. The object of the game is to get a 42-pound stone as close to the center of concentric circles as possible. The sport seems to be rarely thought of outside the Olympics, but it has been growing in popularity. I love curling. I'm a huge, huge fan now. I watch it on the Olympics all the time, and I am obsessed with it. <laughs> totally addicted to it. Uh, it was it was fun. Uh, 42 pounds was a little bit heavier than I thought it was, uh, but it, it was a lot of fun. Good to just come out and try it. If you didn't make it out yesterday, you'll have another chance. The curling event continues today from noon until six. It is six. For curling fans who couldn't make it to Vancouver, action was just a stone's throw away today in Northwest D.C. The Hilton Garden Inn turned the ballroom into a curling arena. And in case you don't know a whole lot about the sport, the object of curling is to get a 42-pound stone just as close as you can to the center of concentric circles. The sport seems to be rarely thought of outside the Olympics, but it has, it has actually been growing in popularity. I love curling. I'm a huge, huge fan now. I watch it on the Olympics all the time, and I am obsessed with it. <laughs> totally addicted to it. Uh, it was it was fun. Uh, 42 pounds was a little bit heavier than I thought it was, uh, but it, it was a lot of fun. Good to just come out and try it. The curling event continues tomorrow from noon until six. Some curl today, but a lot of folks, a lot of folks spent their. For curling fans like myself who could not make it to Vancouver, action was action was just a stone's throw away today in Northwest D.C. The Hilton Garden Inn turned a ballroom into a curling arena. The object of the game is to get 42-pound stones as close to the center of concentric circles as possible. The sport seems to be rarely thought of outside the Olympics, but it has been growing in popularity here of late. I want to bring in Chuck Bell. Well, if you want to get into the Olympic spirit, try one of the most unique sports that has a growing following. The US8 Curling Expo is holding an open house today until 6 o'clock. There's no charge to push the 42-pound rocks down the ice, or you, get, you can get tips on your technique as well. So just stop by the Hilton Garden Inn on 14th Street. I see you there. It's something about watching curling. 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 It's, just, it's addicting. For some reason, you get mesmerized and you get drawn in. And a lot of the women players from across the globe are pretty easy on the eyes, <laughs> okay? Pam know this? Oh, Why? yeah, yeah. It doesn't. And if you want to try to get into the Olympic spirit, try one of the most unique sports that has a growing following. The USA Curling Expo is holding an open house today from noon to 6. There's no charge to push the 42-pound rocks down the ice, or you can get tips on your technique. Just stop by the Hilton Garden Inn on 14th Street. And I have a feeling you might see our Adam Kasky there. <laughs> Make sure to stay with us because Adam will be back with a final look at our weather right after this. Number four, if watching the Olympics curling competition has piqued your interest, well, you can learn how yourself. The Hilton Garden in Northwest D.C. is offering up free curling lessons this weekend. The ballroom will be transformed into a mini curling arena and no ice skates are necessary. Every four years when the Winter Olympics rolls around, curling makes its way back in the spotlight. The Hilton Garden Inn in Northwest D.C. is getting in on the fun, offering up free curling to the public this weekend. The hotel is transforming its ballroom into a mini curling arena. The good news here, you don't need ice skates. In fact, you can get lessons and learn more about one of the most watched winter games right there. Well, it's fun. Those marketing folks hard at work. <laughs>